Oh, oh, it's about to start. You ready? Ready. Popcorn? Butter? Nacho? Cheese? Fruit beer with red liquor straw? Right here. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Hey there, Torrent Smith RT here. I suppose you actually were listening to the song I was actually humming to myself. Well, this song got me thinking of a certain movie I have loved since I was a child back in the mid 90s. And yet, the song stays with me, and so does the entire movie. I used to collect the toys from the actual movie. And speaking of that, Toy Story. Oh my God, is this a piece of beauty. A nostalgic memory for anyone who was a child who saw this. For being the first Pixar movie to be CGI, remember, this was the actual first time that Disney's Pixar ever tried CGI in an entire movie. And you know what? I love it. And you know what? I still actually love it from this day. You got Woody, you got Buzz, you got Mr. Potato Head, you got Slinky, you got Rex, you got Bo Peep, you got Ham, you got the Green Army Men, and later on in the sequels, we get more characters added to this list. This movie I would watch over and over when I was a kid, about six and seven years old, along with James and the Giant Peach, Oliver and Company, and Peter Pan. And when Toy Story came out and I saw this in theaters, it was a monster hit to everybody, even children. There were games, there were the actual toys of the character, there were a bunch of merchandise, a shirt, PJ, name it, and you'll see it either on Amazon or eBay if you want to order something that's from Toy Story. And just this year, I actually found the toys at Target when I got Woody and Buzz, and I gave them to a friend of mine for his birthday this year. They were the real deal from the actual movie where Woody has the pull string and Buzz Lightyear has the wings. He talks. He has a communicator that can actually open. He does the karate chop action. The laser, the helmet, and even he glows in the dark. I love the creativity. I love the story. I love the music, the song. Everything about this is just that damn good. You got Tom Hanks as Woody, you got Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear, you got John Ratzenberg as Ham, you got Jim Verani as Slinky Dog, Wallace Shawn as Rex, John Rickles as Mr. Potato, Annie Potts as Bo Peep. The list goes on. Another thing I actually love about this movie is the mutant toys. Oh my God. When I actually saw how these things were, since I'm a big fan on Halloween and horror, I would have some of my sister's dolls ever since when she started growing up and started changing her life, I would take some of these dolls that she would donate and I would chop their heads off and I would place those headless dolls on my shelf along with my other creepy dolls and toys. Sid Phillips is so sadistic in part of the movie for being a kid that age. I wonder if he can handle Chucky that way. Now that would be something. <laughs> By the way, you wanna know something scary about Toy Story in production? Did you know that originally the Toy Story idea was Woody was supposed to be a douchebag? I don't have the exact clip of it, but you can actually hear this. And please tell me, does Woody not sound like he's, he would be a hateable character throughout this movie? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Off the bed. Hey! Off the bed! You gonna make us, Woody? No. He is. Slinky! Slink! Slink! Slinky! Get up here and do your job! Are you deaf? I said take care of them! Uh, I'm sorry, Woody, but uh, I have to agree with them. I don't think what you did was uh, right. What? Am I hearing correctly? You don't think I was right? Who said your job was to think, Spring Wiener? Well, I, I just, just thought that you... Just use this vast uh, reserve of brain power to consider this for a moment. If it wasn't for me, Andy wouldn't pay any attention to you at all. In fact, my sketchy friend, you would have been hauled away to Goodwill a long time ago. So shut your mouth and get them off the bed. 
Do it. Now, Slink, or I'm throwing you off! Honestly, what the fuck? I kid you not, that's exactly what they were gonna go with for the very first time when they were making Toy Story. Trying to do something for the adults. Let that be the other studio's job, while Disney and Disney Pixar do their jobs for the entire audience, period. It's not just for kids, it's not just for adults, it's for the entire family, aka the audience, period. Remember that. I love this movie from today and I still love it. The songs are just that damn memorable. You've Got a Friend in Me is actually the song that still stays in my head today. I even did a few collaborations on Sing, and even I sung the song in so many different voices, even with my own brother. You got troubles, I got them too. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. We stick together, we can see it through, cause you got a friend in me. I Will Go Sailing No More is kind of that song that actually goes with it as Buzz Lightyear finally opens his eyes and he realizes that he's just a toy. I would play that song when I'm at my sad moment. And of course, there's that one song, Strange Things, which seems to be a bit of an underrated song, which most people don't even recognize from this day or even sing about it or do a cover song. But anyways, I still love all these songs. I saw this in theaters as a kid and I never saw the sequel and I never saw the third one in theaters. I just saw the fourth one in theaters. And I will save that criticism for another time because there's a perfectly explanation about why I didn't get to see the second or third one in theaters. Anyways, I'm still planning on my future to get some of these toys back in my life. Cause all I have is the DVD of the first, second and third Toy Story movie. Even I got a few PlayStation games of Toy Story Racing and, and Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue, and even I've got the Sega, Sega Genesis of Toy Story. Toy Story, along with my other favorite Pixar favorites including Coco, Brave, Finding Nemo, and Inside Out, are my top favorite movies of all time. For a Disney Pixar, of course. On the movie scale of this movie, I would give this one a 10 out of 10. Everything about this movie is so nostalgic and so memorable to me, and I love it from this day. Speaking of, I always wanted to say this. To infinity and beyond! You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me.